the initial feud and the layers to that story made it so good. And Paul Bear, of course, was, he was just always the one stirring the pot. If you never do anything else, destroy him! Whoa! Could you have imagined how much would have come from the Kane and Undertaker story for the next 25 years? We milked that uh, sponge pretty dry, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> it was just, we, we, we got a lot out of it. <laughs> Come on, it's a pretty good combination. Yeah. You know, those, were, those were good times. I, yeah. You remember when they invited us back for the, I think it was the 700th episode? When you got your <laughs> the coat? <laughs> the coat. <laughs> <laughs> so I just worked WrestleMania, and I had this crazy coat made, and it was awesome. And the thing weighed nearly 40 pounds. And it's going to be Kane and I, and we're about to kill two guys. So when I go to drop the coat, instead of the coat falling straight, the coat <laughs> bends, right? So the coat bends, and now I'm trapped. And it's live TV. I, look, look, so it's live TV. So it's Monday Night Raw, right? And it, you know, Kane realizes that I'm in trouble. All I can see, I can't hear him, but I can see his lips go, oh, <laughs> So finally, one of our stagehands jumped up there, yanked it off of me. Oh my gosh. And no. then, of course, the next day we show up TV and they announced Undertaker in his greatest match yet versus the coat. Oh. <laughs> I'm they telling got you. Up with a Titan Tron. Yeah, that was that is not more of my, my proudest moments.